Sota Takai was three hours into his night shift at a remote convenience store in rural Japan. Midweek in this small town meant little traffic would pass through, and the clock, not even having struck midnight yet, he knew he was in for a long night. As he began busying himself by stocking shelves, two high school boys fresh from their late evening cram school session entered the store and made their way to the ready-made meal section. Sota stood up and made his way back to the counter in order to be ready to serve them. Being the only two customers in the quiet store, it was impossible to not overhear their conversation. They were both clearly shaken by events that had transpired the previous day. They spoke of a fellow classmate, who some weeks earlier had been encouraging them to experience an online puzzle known as the Red Room. This classmate, it appeared, had become obsessed with it to the point where it was alleged that he had not left his room for several days. The hard-working parents oblivious to his truancy until they forced their way into his bedroom only to find him dead and the entire room coated in blood. Sota tried to hide his shock at this, as he did not want to be accused of eavesdropping. He put the boys' items through the register and thanked them for their custom. They left, and Sota stood in silence, intrigued at this online puzzle, the Red Room. He decided to call Ryota, a good friend of his and someone he considered to be far more knowledgeable with the internet than himself at this point in time as the online world was still somewhat unknown to many. He explained to Ryota what he had just overheard, and Ryota, being similarly intrigued, said he would check it out and call him back. Minutes, then hours went by, and there was no return phone call. Sota wanted to call Ryota again, but it was past midnight now and he didn't wish to wake him if he had fallen asleep, so opted for a text to which there was also no reply. Sota, bored, unable to get the lure of this online puzzle out of his head, fired up the computer in the small office to the side of the main counter and began searching for the red room. Initially only finding references to nightclubs, interior design, and an old H.G. Wells story, he began to get closer when finding several news article references to the red room puzzle and the deaths that were linked to it. Included in these articles was the most recent one, Yuto Atsumi, a boy from his area, the boy that teenagers were talking about earlier. The articles were chilling and should have convinced him to give up the search, but he couldn't. The fascination was slowly turning into obsession. Suddenly the door chime rang out, Breaking the dead silence of the store as a customer entered, Soda snapped out of his trance and reluctantly stepped out to the counter, finding it hard to pull himself away. As cash was exchanged for cigarettes, a voice from the office caught his ear. Anata wa suki desu ka? Do you like? The customer left, and Soda re-entered the room. It spoke again. Anata wa do you like? There was a pop-up window on the screen with the same text as what was being spoken, and Soda quickly clicked to close it. Then it popped up again. Do you like? And again. Do you like? Each time Soda clicking it closed and praying it would stay shut his frustration mounting with each click harder than the last until it would no longer close. And the message slowly split apart to reveal further text and a voice that said, Anata wa akai heya ga suki desu ka? Do you like the red room? Sota froze. This was it. He'd found it. His click to close the window worked this time, and as the pop-up disappeared, a list of names previously blurred out in the background came into view. He scanned down the list, and to his horror, the name second from last was Yuto Atsumi. And underneath that, his friend, Ryota. Panicking, 
He immediately tried calling Ryota, to which there was no reply. He then stood up to go to Ryota directly. However, when he did so, the door slammed itself shut and he was unable to open it. After several minutes of bashing on the door and shouting, he stopped suddenly when the computer behind him spoke once more. Do you like the red room? Sota stared at the screen, and then his vision drifted to the shiny box cutter to the right. He smiled. He now knew how to get out. <laughs>